Hello and welcome to my channel. Today the Karen 190Z has been released. It is for £900,000. Or dollars in this case. I don't know why I said pounds. Uh, yes, 900000 is not too bad I suppose. Uh, yes, I find it a bit, I'm a bit sort of stunned the fact that the Hustler has been released before the 190Z, but the 190Z hit uh, on the list is here, rather than where the Hustler is. I don't know what's going on there. Either way, we've got it, and here it is. Now, in real life, this is based off of the Datsun 240Z, or the Fair Lady Z, whatever um, country you're from. It's looking really good. Now, to be honest, the back kind of reminds me of a 2000 GT. It's all got that 2000 GT look. But definitely the front and the side is uh, the Fair Lady Z or the 240Z. Let's have a step inside. Now, I am quite disappointed with the interior because it is effectively the Rapid GT interior. So they're just reusing interiors again, which is just a bit upsetting. Uh, one thing is pretty cool. I did see Karen GT on the carpets on the floor down there, which is pretty cool. And we've got the 190Z over there on the glove box. Right, let's go see what we can do to it. It also does have the Karen in the uh, steering wheel. It's based... Well, it's based is on the Sports Classics uh, class, I can, so I can do a testing on that, do some test, uh, speed testing on it. Oh, I can't speak this afternoon, right? So first of all, we haven't uh, arch, we've got arch covers as our first customization, which is quite unusual. We normally have armor as first, so there's a bit of a difference. So we have basic arches, secondary basic arches, carbon basic arches. Ah, uh, uh, see, you can't speak. Arches, bolted arches, secondary bolted arches, carbon bolted arches, trimmed arches, secondary trimmed arches, carbon trimmed arches, basic arch kit. She's got a little uh, side skirt on there as well. Then we have secondary basic kit, carbon basic kit, bolted arch kit, secondary bolted kit, <laughs> blimey, there's loads of these, carbon bolted kit, trimmed arch kit, secondary trimmed kit, and carbon trimmed. Phew, that is our list. Uh, I think it looks really ugly with those blue arches as a standard car, as it is. So I'm going to leave it like that. Armour, brakes, bumpers. So we've got front bumpers. We've got 17 of them. Remove. That looks really weird. <laughs> then we've got custom bumper. We've got exposed bumper. Secondary exposed bumper. Carbon exposed bumper. Sticker bomber exposed bumper. Tuna bumper, secondary tuna bumper, carbon tuna bumper, say it, sticker bomb tuna bumper, sports bumper, secondary sports bumper, sticker bomb sports bumper, drift bumper, secondary drift bumper, and sticker bomb drift bumper. Phew! That is definitely a list to go through. You know, I like it like that. And then we've got the rear. So we've got remove, then we've got uh, hook brackets. Tow line, stock bracket, stock support kit, extended bumper, extended kit. What's the difference between the extended bumper? Oh, right, it's got a little bit of metal there for the hook. Extended support kit, secondary bumper, secondary kit, secondary support kit, and uh, bolstered bumper, bolstered kit, bolstered support kit. <sighs> we, this car has immense customization options. And again, I'm going to leave it as it is. Engine. Oh, we've got engine stuff. Very good. I do like that opening bonnet. Look at that engine bay. It's got the spinning belt and it got carrying everywhere. Oh, man, this is excellent. Textured detail. Where's that? Can we zoom in? Ah, there we go. So it just looks like it's slightly textured. We've got chrome detail. We've got primary detail, secondary detail, carbon detail, sticker bomb detail, textured de uh, cam belt cover. We don't want a cam belt cover, that hides it all. Chrome cam belt cover, primary cam belt cover, secondary cam belt cover, carbon cam belt cover, sticker bomb cam belt cover. Oh, I might go for a nice chrome one. She's got a good chassis on her. Chassis? Really? That's it. Brace bar? This is approaching Benny's customizations. And what are these lights doing? I can't see anything with these lights. 
Uh, we've got carbon strap brace, we've got medium style titanium, blah, 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 I can't even, I haven't got the voice to keep reading all them out. But I like that. Engine detail. Ah, we've got carburetor. A muscle carburetor. A GT radiator. We've got muscle kit. We've got GT kit. We've got carbon GT kit. Sports radiator. Sports muscle kit. Sports GT kit. Carbon sports GT kit. Oh, the list is massive. Um, what's the difference? The GT radiator is just a tad thinner. Sports muscle kit. I'm going for that because it's got carrying on the radiator. I like that. Exhausts. Oh, okay. So we've got big bore exhausts, which look like someone stuck uh, some bins on the back. Then we've got rally exhausts, carbon rally exhausts, side pipe exhausts. Quad exit exhausts, bloody hell, what's, what's that? Six stock, uh, stack exhausts, flush hood, what the hell is this? A vented, this is weird. <laughs> I'm leaving as it is. <laughs> I've not put all that on it. Remove, what are we moving? Oh, it's the grill. I didn't even look at that. We've got framed grill, shark grill. we got crumb shark grill. Secondary shark grill, carbon shark grill, mesh grill gate, diamond grill, chrome diamond grill. That looks weird. Secondary carbon. Oh, the customization is mad on this car. I'm gonna go for the mesh one. Then we got the bonnet. So we got remove. I can see why you do that because you get to see all the lovely engine customization. But no, carbon no. Rigid inset hood. Uh, we've got carbon rigid, vented hood, carbon. Oh, this list is massive. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to slightly put it down because my voice will disappear otherwise. Some of these are pretty menacing. Um, I'm going to stick that one on it, the rigid one. Oh no, livery. This is a Benny's car, really, isn't it? <laughs> right, so we've got the the handstand strip the orange 190z then we've got the it's lower the sponsor bash the red jackal racing then we've got the blue jackal racing why do you want a jackal oh yes uh, <laughs> karen stream green karen stream classic rally omegas watermark and there we go uh, again no rush at all. probably gonna stick it without a livery mirrors Wow, these mirrors, we've got so much customization, it's unreal. We've got the chrome detail, we've got secondary detail, we've got carbon detail, stylized, chrome stylized, secondary stylized, carbon stylized, classic mirrors, chrome classic mirrors, secondary mirrors, uh, carbon classic mirrors. Um, Do you need a drink? I'll keep it as it is. Play respray. I'm not entirely sure what color to go for. I might put the secondary colour in chrome because if you see we've got orange door handles and orange around the light so I might stick that in chrome. So I might I might get this in orange. Sort of like that kind of orange. Like yeah, that that's cool. And if we put a chrome bit here, there we go, look it chromes out the uh, door handle and the lights. Pretty cool. Trim colour. We can change the interior. Hurrah. Finally. Don't want to go any of these mad colours. What should we go for? Not red. Red and that is a bit... Red and orange is a bit weird. Uh, I don't think orange and cream go that well. Hmm. It may just have to be black. Or maybe a lighter grey. Maybe a sort of dark steel. Yeah, that'll do. Spoiler! Yeah, this video is going to be 20 minutes long just to look at all the customization options. Right, so we've got the classic spoiler, we've got carbon low level spoiler, we've got boot lid spoiler, we've got black uh, black to boot lip spoiler, secondary boot lip spoiler, carbon boot lip spoiler, dovetails 
spoiler, black dovetail spoiler, secondary dovetail spoiler, carbon dovetail spoiler, drift spoiler, black carbon spoiler, secondary drift spoiler, carbon drift spoiler, circular select, uh, section spoiler, black section spoiler, oh, I'm going for that, definitely, but, um, secondary um, section spoiler, carbon section spoiler, race spoiler, chromium staggered spoiler, they've nicked that off the Banshee 900R, haven't they? Wow. That's a massive, <laughs> massive spoiler. Right, I'm gonna go for that. Suspension levers it is, transmission levers it is, turbo levers it is, wheels. I have a plan for this one. I was gonna stick. Uh, where are they? Aha, there they are. Them wheels on him. Exactly. That looks really good. Exit to ground. Let's give this thing a bit of a test run. It's a shame, I'm not so impressed with the sound as such. It's alright, it's just not very inventive. They just nicked it from the stinger. I don't expect the handling to be that good, considering it's a classic car. And all quite well. Much better than a lot of the cars. Yeah, the handling's actually really good. It might be because this thing's not very fast and my driving is awful, but... I think a good competitor for this car would be the Stinger, Stinger, yeah, the Stinger and the uh, Sterling. So in sports classic class, I reckon it'd be around 15th place, maybe. Hmm. I do like the backfire noise though. Right. Yeah, it doesn't like it when you really thrash it into a corner. If you sort of brake and act like a normal racing driver, then yeah, it, would, it actually does handle quite well. And I'm not too fond of my black spoiler stuck at the back. I think that does ruin the looks of it, so I will change that. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think... I'm going to do my test track and we'll see. So we'll go into ah, online jobs, play job, my job, uh, races, best sounding cars, definitely not that one. That's not that one, is it? Quick, 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 quick. Test track 2, I seem to remember it being. Yes, it is. We'll use that. So let's go around in the Sterling GT and the Stinger, because well, the Sterling GT is 975,000, I think. Not super. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, 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 there it is. Play. Actually, can we change the weather? Uh, time of day, morning, noon, done. Just so we can see all the bits and pieces I've laid around on this track. <laughs> However long ago that was. Here we go, it's Sterling GT. So you can buy this for an extra 75 grand on top of the price of the 190Z. Whoa. This does feel faster, but the 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 back end 
does like to step out at high, at high speed. A bit like the 190Z. Oh, I think it's I just don't think this has the grip as no it doesn't it doesn't have the grip as the 190Z it really doesn't Laptop, otherwise, I'm going to forget the time. 124051. So, 124051. So, my typing's gone to crap as well. Right, so we'll stick the GT as 1 minute 24 seconds. Yes, we'll get on replay. The next car we'll test will be the Stinger. Should we do the Stinger GT? Because I think that's 900 grand as well. So if we do the Stinger GT. Yeah, Sports Classic is here. Scroll down. Oh, Mamba, that's a good one to test as well. So there's a lot of classic cars, like the like the Anis, that are around that price. But I think the Stinger GT has held the record for a very long time, so we'll see. My character's enjoying himself in there. This thing is a very quick straight off the line. The brakes aren't very good and the turning circle or the understeer is pretty bad. But it does feel a lot quicker. The initial acceleration to top speed is a lot better than the sterling. And the grip's better. I just think the grip is there in comparison to the Sterling. fast in there then. And don't forget that all these cars I'm testing are uncustomized in any way. Well, visually anyway. Mechanically they're uncustomized but visually they're customized. 124449 120 Four, four, nine. So actually, it is slower than a Sterling. Oh, what are you doing, you stupid computer? It's coming up with all these messages and things. Go away. I'm shocked that that Sterling uh, is faster than the Stinger. <laughs> it's only by 300 milliseconds, if that, or 290 odd milliseconds, but it is slower. And by the, I'm only doing this first try after driving these, after not driving these cars for so long, and then just jumping straight into them and doing a race. It's not particularly accurate, but uh, I'm not bruffy. But you could also buy one of them for 900 grand, and I'm not sure what they do. So maybe it might be worth giving that a test. Just for the customization alone, this thing is worth the money because you're effectively getting a mini Benny's car 
for just the customization price, not the base car alone, as it is. This feels faster than both of them now. It's because it's got that grip. It's got that grip and a little bit better acceleration than the Sterling. It's going to be close. Even with me smashing into the bins, it's faster. Look at that. Mince me, it. So 121, 245. That was a mince meat. Now, just out of curiosity, I am going to test the, the Turismo R. Just to see Turismo R. It was there, no chance against Turismo R. But the uh, Turismo. Bear me two seconds. But the Turismo uh, Classic may be a bit of a competitor. Yep, that was total decimation. <laughs> so that's beaten the 190Z by 5 seconds. And it's only 50 grand more. I think it's 50 grand more for that. So if you're looking for a car for speed, the Turismo is certainly one to go for. Where the... Uh, the 190Z is worth its money just for the... Uh, Customization alone.
so yes it, again it is what you are wanting in a car what you're wanting from a car are you, looking, are you wanting it from uh, are you wanting it for the customization or are you want it for the top speed as we just proven with our track test there the Turismo decimated all three of them so the Turismo would be the one you're going for around that price range for well the car to go for if you're gonna do racing but if you get just looking for something just to pretty much go to car meets in show off all the amazing customization then this would be the slightly slower than the Sterling the Sterling is around the same time it was only by around uh, well, it's about two two three seconds slower than uh, this but and it was 75 grand more so the Sterling is out of it where this is the one to go for if you're looking for customization and a decent speed so yes that's it for this video today and see you in the next one